This is Mike Mozart at Cheapers Media, back again bringing you the coolest products of yesterday, and today, today I'm bringing you Potty Time with Elmo. That's right, this is one of those interactive electronic books where you actually read the book and press a corresponding button to make a sound effect, but there was a little problem with one of the sound effects. Let's listen to some of them and we'll save that special sound effect for last. That's toilet paper. That's Elmo climbing the stairs to use the potty. Elmo gets to wear big boy pants because he can go potty. Elmo's good and he flushes. Uh-oh, who wants to die? And you have to push that button in certain parts of the story such as this. Baby David? You do? Let's go. And he flushes him down the toilet. I guess that's how he wants to die. That's right, parents complained hugely about this book when it came out in 2005, and it was pulled off the market really fast. It was actually replaced with another book. It's, it looks like the exact same book. This one's dated 2008. And listen to how they fixed the sound chip of the 2008 book. Here's before. Quite a difference. And the Mike Mozart question of the day is, do you think this was accidental or do you think this was deliberate? If you read the online reports, a lot of people think this was a bad joke. And what other interesting things would that button have said that might have been even more interesting or amusing? Please put that in the comments section. I'd really love to see those comments. Doesn't anyone check these things before they go out? I mean, really, what were they thinking? Hey, and if you like my review of a uh, flawed Potty Time with Elmo book, please give me five stars. They're right down there. I'd really appreciate those five stars. Oh, and check out my channel, Jeepers Media. It's that little blue word down there. I have over 125 cool, funny, naughty, and fail toy reviews. I think you'll like them. And if you like cool, bizarre toys like these, um, push that yellow subscription button down there. You'll be glad you did. I'm a professional toy designer. I have a collection of over 250,000 toys, and I'm going to be reviewing some of the best and the worst that you've ever seen here on YouTube. Thanks again.